This is a stand-up paddleboard I found washed up on the rocks almost 12 months ago. When I found it, it was really badly damaged and completely waterlogged. I had to leave it for months to dry out. Finally it was dried out and I got to work on it. As you saw, the rails of this board were very badly damaged. Almost all the rails had to be grinded off, filled and then refiberglassed. I'm just sitting here. I got time. Here I just used a bit of packaging tape to stop the resin from dripping away. Next was just a whole lot of sanding. I had heaps of sanding to do. The whole thing had to be sanded down. Yeah, it was a pain in the bum. The more I sanded, the more I realised that that sticker on the front, it couldn't be saved. In the front of the board, there was plenty of dings and bits and pieces that I just couldn't. It was too far gone. I realised I was just going to have to try and paint the front half of the board to try and cover up all that mess. Ready for painting? I painted it white and then there was something missing. It just needed a logo on the front. so. Brenna's Outdoors logo went on the front of it. Sometimes you need to go and take a step back to see the truth around you. I then had to colour in the bits where I'd sanded away the timber veneer. Mask up the old pinstripes and colour them back in and I used um, nail polish for this. Then I painted a clear coat over the top of all that and next we'll um, work on the top of the board. The top wasn't nearly as bad as the bottom but um, still needed heaps of sanding and had to mask up the whole thing again. Then I just gave it a bit of a clean, made sure there's no dust and then started spraying. I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see Clear coat over the top of all that The world seems small We can sit too Nearly done now This is the old fin that was on the board. I just cleaned it up, painted it white. These other two fins, I bought them new. Let's get this thing in the water. Sorry about the dad bod. <laughs> 